All right, we got the Hornets at the Celtics. Celtics coming all the way to their own home stadium in Boston, and Charlotte came from Boston, which is down south going up north. Let's do this. You can see Jalen Brown going in between the legs. Okay, they just did that. Mark is going to miss. Make some pummy. Bring it in. Marcus Smart driving in. He's going to hit him to the left. Or the right. Yup, the right. Yup, good bounce pass. Ooh, good up and under by Jalen Brown. And then number 44, Robert Williams came in. Look at that. So the reason he went with the that with the right, which is Jalen Brown, is because if you see the left, it's already clogged by two people. And that right side, there's that little tiny gap, and you want to bounce pass it. Make sure you do a bounce pass rather than a chest pass. Bounce passes allow you to get him through people. So, because, I mean, nobody's going to reach down low to the ground. It's rare, very, very rare. Boom. Terry Rozier. Good pass to Mason Plumlee, and Mason Plumlee is just there. I think Mason Plumlee might do a lot in this game because he's bigger than that. Oh, no. Al Horford's right there. alley -oop. Gonna wait for the alley -oop. Oh, okay. Good pass. Good bounce, bounce pass again. And wait, wait for Jason Tatum to body him. Don't be, don't be afraid to go for the body. Jason Tatum three-pointer. Nice. Good pass by Robert Williams right there. Looking for him outside in the three. Could have easily gone for a live. I don't know why he didn't do it. Or a dunk. Taylor Brown's going to miss. Tipped up by Al Horford. Jason Tatum right there. Look at that. Boom. People don't do this in the NBA. Don't be afraid to just pop it. Look at Just grabs it right there. Nobody around him. Just pop it up right there. Don't even think too much about it. People sometimes are just going to pop back out to the three, resetting the thing, or trying to drive back in when you have a shot just wide open right there. You're in the NBA. You should be making all these. Marcus Smart, good pass to Robert Williams. And Robert Williams kind of pumps it twice to go for the dunk. Marcus Smart is, <laughs> it's kind of weird to say he's smart. Going up and under, Miles Bridges. That was nice. Be teach that, go up and then go down under. You see LaMelo doing work. Kind of move the ball around, move it around so you can see your defenders kind of hesitating to see where you're going to go. Good pass. That was Grant Williams to Josh Richardson cutting in. Lamelo gonna bring it up. Splits, yup. Oh, I thought he should have shot that. He had the shot right there. He could have easily gone for a here. Look, he splits and then goes to the other side, and then right there just pop up. But I think it's because he had Al Horford, which is a lot taller. He kind of decided to pass out, which is not bad. Unselfish, good. Terry Rozier bring it up. Look it up. Kelly Aubrey Jr. Yup. Look at that. So look at this. Terry Rozier's already looking up, and you see how Jason Kelly Aubrey already has his sprint coming. Jason Tatum still has to kind of pick it up. See how, oh, good pass, too. And Kelly was already beating him, so good pass, too, especially where the placement was. You want to put it over here rather than where Jason Tatum's on the other side. Straight up shot by Josh Richardson and just gets a three. All in one smooth motion, too. LaMelo, Kelly are coming off the screen. LaMelo going back for that screen. And just easy, yup. Easy, look it. So once he comes off the screen, Al Horford has option. Al Horford has to decide who's going to guard, and he's kind of trying to play safe in the middle. And LaMelo has all that space, so he easily just goes up for the floater. Not too much of a floater, just one, two step, and then just go up for the floater. Jason Tatum between the legs, in and out, has he, like he's in shoot between the legs, sidestep. Oh, he should have shot that. Ooh, Josh Richardson again for another three. That's two right there. Don't let him get iced up. Gonna hit off. Ooh, nice. Nice. All right, so the screen is coming right here. Look at LaMelo's body, how it's facing west. So you, you that defense, Jason Tatum's already thinking he's going to go that way. So he's going to hit him. He's going to snap this way and snap it back and go back to the legs to the side. Boom, look at that. And see, Jason Tatum bit on it. Trying to, you see his leg right there? He tried to cut him off. That's what you want to do. Smart move by Jason Tatum. Smarter, even move by LaMelo Ball. Beats him to the other side and gets that little space. Sometimes you don't even have to take the screen. But at least fake it like you're going to go to that screen. And that's going to make your defender hit it, hit the wall, or try to beat you. And look, at that's exactly what happens. You get that other side open. Wait for Dennis Schroeder to get in there. Easy lane, cut in, kind of at an angle. I don't know how to do that. Pop up, easy shot. Right. Oh, nice. Ooh, Terry Rozier. That was a miss by P.J. Washington, but Rozier was right there. Ooh, oh, I thought he was going to make that. Look up. Look, let's see before this happens. What are your options? You got down for Terry, or you got up for, I'm not sure who that is right now. I would go down just because you see that Celtics defender right there. Already trying to get with that. So good. And Aliou, yep. Good, 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 good. Let's watch that again. So you're going to pass it down low, which is the best pass. And then Josh Richardson bites on it, trying to defend him, forgetting about, who is that, 25? About P.J. Washington. So that was good. Good sequence. Everything was perfect. Could have been better than that. Josh Richardson with another three. Bro, oh, I was about to say, that was like going to be his third or fourth one. Good pass. P.J. Washington for the three. Just easy three right there. Jason Tatum getting it. Should drove in right there. Good by Marcus Smart. 
Look at that. That was given. Look at how that defender is playing him. I think that might be Corey Martin. Can't see his number. Look at how he just has to do that little hesitation. And look at all that space right there that he's giving him the lane. And that's why he's able to get there. Look at that. That was too much of a lane right there. That was way too easy. Kelly Arbor Jr. misses. Jalen Brown looking up. Gonna pass it down low to Jason Tatum. And easy dunk. Yup. The dunk was coming. That dunk, I could see that from a mile away. So, yup, that was Cody Martin, though, from that previous play with Marcus Smart. Jalen Brown 360. And yup, easy fade. And he was able to get it up. And that's just automatic. Nobody was up in the air with him. He was just there taking his time, being able to read what was going to happen in the midair. Jalen Brown again bringing it in. Marcus Smart. Oh, I think he's going to do the deep shot. Good. So the reason Marcus Smart attacked that way, look at Kelly Arbor, he saw Kelly was kind of in the air. I have to replay it for you guys to see that again. Kelly Arbor Jr.'s feet were in the air. And he's facing, look at he's facing north already. So all he's got to do is jab right, which I forget if he does. So look, he's facing north. Let's see what happens next. He didn't really jab right, but he kind of looked like he kind of moved his body that way. Causing Kelly Arbor Jr. now. Now Marcus Smart is already one move ahead. Kelly moved. Marcus Smart's next move is to cut him off. So by the time he even catches up, look at that. Kelly Arbor Jr. is right behind trying to move his feet. Trying to 360 to his other body. That was another tough move down going up and under two between three defenders. That was tough by Marcus Smart. Good play. Couldn't have been any better than that too. Gonna go off the screen. Nope. Good reads by LaMelo. Look at this. Gonna hit the screen. Josh Richardson trying to, trying to hop out Al Horford, but they get messed up. He sees that Al Horford is good. And by the time he even catches up to Jason, Jason Richardson catches up to LaMelo Ball, it's already too late. And the middle ball just goes for that easy. So when you're the point guard, see, look at where your defenders are at. Look how much space they're giving you. And take those small floaters. That floater has to be locked down for you to be able to make these plays. Oh, came here. Real quick to the other side. The reason you want to fake once is so that your defender goes here. And then you have that open gap somewhere. Good. Just stayed in one spot. Had his two feet. He knows he has three seconds. Just look around see who's open. Everybody's moving around. Get that easy open shot. Me on the screen, gonna pass. Nice, yeah, good pass, good pass. Good easy pass right there for the alley oop. Jalen Brown's gonna work him. Swing through. Al Horford wide open. Just swung through Jalen Brown, attacked the baseline, and just saw Al Horford right there at the three. Now that's just a tough shot. You see how he's leaning back? The reason you wanna lean back is so your defender's not able to touch that. Look at, look at how he's leaning back. If he were to have been any more straighter, Marcus Smart would have gotten that. And look at the knee. It's not on purpose, but that knee, it gives you space, but it's also for the shot. It's mostly for the shot. I'm pretty sure he's not using it for space, but it gives you space, but it's mostly about the fade back. And he and Marcus Smart is not able to get that. But that fade is critical. It's critical to learn how to drive in and then pop out. Especially when you're in that little paint, that box right there, that paint zone. Learn how to drive in and fade back. Oh, Mason Plumlee coming up with the drive. LaMelo, easy three. Yup. That was way too quick. But good, Mason Plumlee, a center bringing it up. Look at that. You rarely want that to happen, though. Good look by Jason Tatum. Good look. Lamelo bringing it up. He's got um, Miles Bridges down low, but he didn't. Damn, that's nice. Look at how Lamelo's gonna attract uh, uh, Robert Williams down, and it leaves PJ Washington open for the three. That was nice. Oh, that's a bad matchup already. Up. Yep. Oh, he missed it, but he gets it back, and he's damn. That was messed up by Jalen Brown. He walked out of there. Good look by LaMelo Ball, too. Thought he was going to make that three. <laughs> look at this. Two-handed. Miles Bridges don't hurt them. Oh, just easy three. Looking like he's playing at LA Fitness. Looking like he's playing at LA Fitness. Good attack. Good dribbles. Between the legs. Between the legs back. Yup, right there. Joshua Richardson. So, um, just him went in, out. That's a good move. In, and then back through the same way you got it from. Again, look at that. LaMelo Ball is so good at reading these little tiny floater spacings that he's become so elite at it. I love it. Watch his games. He does it a lot. Good swing through by the Jace, uh, Jason Tatum. That was nice. That was really nice. I can, it's kind of hard to teach this, but look at that. All right, let's see this. Can go between the legs, out. All right, right here. So, he's going to pop out like he's going to fade. And he sees that he's got that little left gap. So that left foot is his pivot. And he's going to bring that right one around. Just right here. Boom. Cut to the other side. Gives him, that, gives him that little window to get off the backboard. Learn how to pivot your feet. Learn where you, where you can move around. Oh, good little. 
Oh, that was a good little chat. Passing out to Grant Williams. Assist to Josh Richardson. Jalen Brown. Did he see? Ooh, just, ah. He threw the ball out that way instead of, like, curving it with him. Looking out. Yup. Wide open. Josh Richardson for the three. Man, this guy's on fire right now. The middle ball passing it out. Dunk time. Dunk time by Cody Martin. Dunk time. Cody Martin's brother is playing for the Knicks, too. If you guys didn't know, I think they're twins. I'm pretty sure they're twins. They look exactly like... Going for, nah, you can't really alley-oop it. Oh. I don't know why he didn't pass it to Dennis Schroeder. Maybe because it was too small for an alley-oop. And he was just like, I'd rather give it to this guy. Good screen by LaMelo. Hilly Roberts Jr. Fast reading. That was fast reading for him to shoot that 3-2. Little jab. Josh Richardson, another one? Hey, whose man is that? That's the question. Whose man is that? Oh, Jason Tatum's got... Well, huh? Pass that out to the three. Did you guys see that? Did you guys catch that in real life time? Jason Tatum can drive in. He's three people. Look at your man. Look at your man just popping out for that. Grant Williams easily for the three-pointer right there. Come on. Jason Tatum was way too aware of that. The middle ball. Dennis Schroeder, tight D. The middle ball. Wow. He just had all that space, man. You can't really be mad at that. You can't leave LaMelo ball open like that. Not that much space. These new generations, they're shooting from downtown. They're shooting from downtown, downtown. They're shooting logo shots now. Good Euro step. Did a little Euro to kind of off balance this uh, Mason Plumley. Mason Plumley didn't bite, but that, that little, like, oh, what the hell. Got him enough for him to get an open shot. Terry Rozier coming off the screen. Look at the movement of this. Look at Terry Rozier. You see how he's attacking? And then... Move your hips back. Look at the feet. He's going to extend right to left. The left foot is extended out. The left is not your pivot. And you're going to swing through. Ah, ah. If you're coming to the right, ah, ah. This way. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Jalen Brown going between legs behind the back. 360. Not really a push off. But you see, look at <clears throat> I love it. Boom. And then right there. That's just a shot. Your defender never knows when you're going to shoot. Goes up for it. He's already up. Ooh. You see how his shot was his shot was at his peak or just a little bit late of his peak that um, Terry Rozier was able to get there. He should have shot. The reason with Seth Curry he's able to get these shots off is because he was shot it way before the peak. Way before the peak. Terry Rozier wouldn't even have time. Jalen Brown had him beat already, but it just that little lag that uh, let Terry Rozier get that little space. Look at that again. Same thing. Footing. Coming off the screen. Boom. Catch it. Move hips. Left, right. And just go straight up to your shot. 107, 107. 38 seconds left. Look at him swing through, 360. Oh, but he got fouled. Way to swing through. Always swing through. Never forget to swing through. Swing through, jab. That's automatic. Boom. <clears throat> just like that. Just to get your defender to move just a little bit. Sometimes you're going to read it. It's going to become naturally instinctive. Instinctive. They're just going to be able to attack. You're going to know when to attack, when not to attack, when to pop up for the shot. Coming out rhythm like that. Kobe was great at that. So is Michael Jordan. I see LaMelo. Terry Rozier, look at... Oh, P.J. Washington. Oh, got swatted. Pass it out. Oh, but he wants the free throws. Nope. Oh, that's game. 107-113, man. Oh, man. That was a close one. 